I've got four new Masters of the WWE Universe figures. I don't even know what wave this is. Eight or something like that. Coming up after this. This is a great wave. I'm really excited to open it. Did not find them in Canada. These were sent to me from the States. I'm very happy and very grateful. This is a great line. I do have the other, the last wave of three coming to me from Europe. Canada has not seen these. I'm really worried. I'm really worried. People think that it's canceled. I mean, it is canceled. It's not gonna be Masters of the Universe, but they are making, they're using these bodies and they're making a new series called WWE Superstars which don't they call every series WWE Superstars? Oh my goodness, I'm opening it up already. I don't think we're gonna get them. They have such cool card art. It looks so retro on the new Superstar ones that I'm talking about. I, I kind of think that they're gonna be a Walmart uh, America exclusive. They are a Walmart exclusive, but I think they're just going to be in the U and just in the United States. Anyway, Andre the Giant is such a cool figure to get. He stands taller, he is bigger, he's a new mold from all of the rest of them. He is so cool that we're getting him. It's Black History Month, I'm glad we have some AA representation here with Junkyard Dog, real cool. He's got a Spike War vest on, and yes, he has the broken accessory, which seems to be very common. Mine is snapped inside. I was hoping it wouldn't be, that's fine. I'll glue it or something. Then we have Bret Hart, and he looks great in pink. And this visor that he has that switches around is amazing. Great artwork. Homage to the original. Did I show this artwork? Better show you again. Such great stuff. Ugh. Love the cross cells. Love the cross cell art a lot too. I love this packaging. So good. Then we have certain slaughter, and he is looking great in this Roger. Oh, what's his name? It's the Vicron. It's the guys that he created. The original Masters of the Universe concept, but also Man at Arms at the same time. It's so good. Highly articulated for power posing. We've got bursts there. I don't know what they would have been like in Canada. Each one of these has a separate card back but I don't think it is a mini comic anymore. I don't know, I think, uh, yeah, I forget. Anyway, we'll have to open them and see. So let me cut out these boxes. I'm gonna do it carefully so I can save the cards and I'll clean up these afterwards. Very, very excited. All right. So each figure comes with a little giblets bag, a little bag of extras. I always love that. A little fun little thing to open in the back. You know, there are added accessories. In Andre the Giant's case, it is his legs, because that is the only way, or his feet, that is the only way they could fit him in the package. So let's open up his. He also has a headband in there. He is supposed to be Titus, one of the giants. I don't think people are happy with the size of this if this was the Giants, but I totally would be 100% okay with ugh. all of these figures come apart like this, so this is nothing new. Am I putting it on the right foot? I'm probably not. Really hard to put together though. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I didn't like that crack. That cr oh, his leg just broke off. Oh, this is the first time that that has happened to me. Oh, that really sucks. I can't get this figure. Oh, that's horrible. Oh no, plastic does feel really brittle. We've got two broken things in this collection. This is sad, I'm freaking out. Okay, I can't even make him stand. Be careful putting on his legs, guys. First time I have had these broken. This joint is pretty stiff while I'm trying to move this around. I think there's things I can do. 
I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. Harness is really interesting where it's capable of putting it on either side. So I don't know if they did that for versatility or reuse. Maybe these will be used for the Giants. I can't believe I can't even stand them up to compare and show you. What am I gonna do of all of the figures for this to break on him too, because he is so special. But, uh, okay. What am, what am I to do? This is what he looks like. He's super cool. Headband comes off on, he is way bigger than the other figures. As you can see, completely new sculpt, but in the exact same formation. It's probably the same height as a classics figure. I love him, but he's ruined. Okay, and then we have Bret Hart, and he has his visor. And this is probably the best way to do a many faces kind of switchamaro demon scary face. 80s visor, silver visor, all of them look good. That's what his face looks like. Goofy, but cool. He has the trap jaw armor from the classics, which kind of has too much detail. For me, it doesn't really match the rest of the figures because there is so much more detail, but I mean, it's great. They put a lot of paint on it too. That's not what I like about Masters of the Universe. I like the simple, but they put a lot of detail, more detail in these WWEs, but still a really cool figure. I like his shoulder pads, his hair, and I should be taking off their armor to show them in their regular WWE form, but we'll do that later. He comes with a Fisto sword. And it is really cool. It's a nice silver and then the, pa the handle's painted pink. Love that 80s pinkness. Super cool 80s awesomeness. And then we have a Junkier Dog in Spike War's armor. And I'm assuming that this is the classics armor. Spike War is one of the, I think he's the only figure that I don't have. I mean, I don't have any of the last wave. The last wave from the original Masters of the Universe was really hard to get. And especially because that's when I stopped collecting toys as a kid. But Spike War was one that I didn't get and still don't have. The only figure that I don't have besides wave six. Junkier Dog, I like this armor. I hope that uh, this is how they do the Origins one, but I'm assuming they'll mold it. They haven't been doing any new sculpts like that. It's very rare for them to put the money into figures that are so uh, specific. They are really being choosy and doing figures that they can reuse the molds. So Spike or his body is a very specific body. The Chunk Air Dog is cool. He also comes with a broken piece. And I guess I'm gonna try to put it back together. The rubber, it really, bending it like this, it doesn't seem like it would break. It is so rubbery and sturdy. I, I'm thinking that not fully cooled before they stick it into the package. Should I try to snap it? It's always snapped in the same place. I should probably try some glue. I don't know, you tell me. What do you think is the right thing to use? Anyway, it's really cool. It's a shame that I can't use it. I love the way that it feels. It feels so strong and sturdy. It is crazy that it's snapped in that place in many, many people's packaging. Did anybody have a broken leg? Let me know if you're Andre the Giant. And then we have of this awesome Sergeant Slaughter and he was in G.I. Joe now he's in Masters of the Universe so cool his armor is man-at-arms armor he's got two different shades of green on he is so cool we haven't had this many accessories we have glasses 
Are they come off? Can I put these on? Let me see. They're way smaller than any other glasses that I normally would put on, but yeah, they, they're aviators. They're my favorite glasses to wear. They look really cool on, love them. A little hat. And in his little baggie, we get a man at arms mace. So Roger Sweets, well, they didn't call him Vicron, they named him Vicron later on, but Roger Sweets Masters of the Universe concept kinda looked like this. Tankhead, I believe is what they called him. I can't get his head off. And I don't want to risk breaking anything. This man-at-arms armor falls off really easy. It just slides off the arm. I would have rather they made it one piece and stopped his arm from moving. And I lost the other piece. I'll find it later. But look at that face. Look at that cool body with two different, three different green shades. Lots of different green. The harness comes off. The mace, it's so cool to have these things, and I love army green, so it's great to have all of these accessories in these different colors. And the hat fits on pretty well. It's a nice rubbery material too. Want to be careful with it. I've got some paint on his forearm. Let's see what the body looks like underneath this armor though. It really doesn't feel like it's something that would break. Mattel is really great at having sturdy toys. I, don't, I think this might be the first Mattel toy that I've had that broke. That is his shirt. I don't know if that if he ever wore a tank top over a t-shirt. This is weird that they did that. This is very loose. Unlike the original Masters of the Universe armor that was so snug and fit right into the grooves and it stayed on so perfectly, it's funny that they don't recreate that in modern times. Love these figures. So happy to have them. I've looked up how to fix legs like this before. I had a Funko figure that broke like this. I never did anything about it. I'm gonna have to do something about this one. Yeah, it's sad. Let's take off his armor and uh, see what Andre looks like without the stuff on. They could totally use this. I hoping to get of the two giants in this style. I love this size. Well, hopefully they don't break, but there is your regular Andre the Giant. These are all mix and matchable, which is great, so you can take off of those cuffs too, which are amazing silver sculpt. I wanna be careful. I don't wanna break anything. Obviously he's made with very brittle, more brittle plastic. They were, might have been in a rush to get these off of the factory, and maybe that's why they didn't cool properly. I'm not a plastic scientist. Anyway, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Yeah. He's so cool. So very, very cool to have him. <sighs> it's times like this that it makes the elastic bands look like they were so much better. Oh man, oh man. So cool. So many little things, so many broken things. <sighs> I was so upset I forgot to show the comics or the no comics. They're empty this time. I thought it was one piece of paper on some of the figures. I, in Canada, we never got these bios, which is really cool to get on the American ones. So there's Sergeant Slaughter's. There's Broken Andre the Giants. There is Brett Hitman Hart. all taken from existing comics or comic art from back in the day. Oh, that's a great picture. I love the art on these. It's more painty than the Origins ones. It's more, yeah, so, so good. So like the original.
Oh man, 